to be sure we laugh less and play less and wear uncomfortable disguises like adults but beneath the costume is the child we always are whose needs are simple whose daily life is still best described by fairy tale so this romance anime typically feature relationships between adults couple or college students unlike high school romance so without further ado let's start the list of top 10 romance anime for adults and before we start please take a moment and consider subscribing because we'll be bringing more videos in the future let's start the list with recovery of an ammo jenki moriko morioka is 13 years old successful career woman who decided to quit her tax and corporate job and become an elite neat and find more fulfilling life what the actual hell possessed me to go with a name like hi is she She joins an online MMORPG, Fruit Dreamer, and creates a male character named Hayashi as her avatar. In the game, Hayashi meets another character named Lily, a high-level player who helps him learn the game. Hayashi and Lily become close friends, and he joins her guild. Meanwhile, in the real world, Moriko has a chance to encounter with a handsome late company employee, Yuta Sakurai. who may have ties with her online life damn stupid couples everywhere just because it's christmas freaking eve i must retreat at once love stage with an actress mother producer father and rock star brother anyone would expect isumi is an adult eventually enter showbiz himself however Aside from a commercial for a wedding magazine, when he was a child, Izumi has never been in the spotlight. Instead, he aims to become a manga artist. I'm, I better get going. Have a nice day. Izumi, we're in the middle of a... Oh, honestly, what is that boy going to do with his life? He acts like he's an otaku. No, he is an otaku. Yeah. But, decades after the shoot, the magazine calls for a 10th anniversary ad. requesting the original child actors for the project this reunites izumi with ryoma ichijo now a popular actor who much to izumi's shock has been in love with him ever since their first meeting however due to izumi's feminine appearance and name ryoma believes the boy was a girl and continue to do so to this day izumi's trouble are just beginning because even after discovering the secret you may can seem to shake off his feeling arakawa under the bridge set in arakawa tokyo the series tells the story of kawichi nomiya a man who has accomplished everything by himself ever since he was little his father has taught him one rule to never be indebted to another person. <laughs> One day by accident, he falls into the Arakawa River and almost drowns. A girl by the name Nino rescues him and in return, he owes her his life. Unable to accept the fact that he is indebted to her, He asks her about a way for him to repay her. In the end, she tells him to love her, beginning Ko's life of living under the bridge. However, as Ko starts to learn, Arakawa is a place full of weirdos, and all of the people living under the bridge are what society would call ten percent. R E C. For me, Ko Matsumaru is a salary man. who works in the marketing department of a snack company as a bachelor he tries to date a girl from his company but coincidentally he meets a kaunda a rookie voice actor instead 
にするかも<笑>今のチケットの声変な女 Through another stroke of fate, Aka's house burned down that very night. With nowhere to stay and no family to aid Aka, Fumiko took her in. And the next day, Fumiko's new marketing idea was accepted. And Aka's being hired for the product's voice doctor. As the relationship of Aka and Fumiko deepens, the more difficult their relationship becomes. Can they live together under the same roof while keeping the secret of their relationship safe? Nana Nana Komitsu is on her way to Tokyo. Now she can finally be with her boyfriend after a year of dating long distance. On the train there, Nana Komitsu meets Nana Osaki, a girl who shares her name, but seems to be everything Nana Komitsu is not. Cool, streetwise, and a punk rocker. The two hit off and spend the entire journey getting to know each other. But when they get to Tokyo, circumstances separate them seemingly forever. By the way, is this seat... I mean, would it be okay if I... Go ahead. <sighs> However, fate is not finished with these two. While standing for a place to live, the two Nana again cross paths. They decided to share a flat and become best friends in no time. Nana K must learn to be independent and mature by Nana O Waxon becoming famous with the band. But together, they will learn about love and loss and the growth that comes with it. Honey and Clover Yuta Takamoto A sophomore at an art school it shares a cheap apartment with two seniors. The eccentric Shinobu Morita who keeps failing to graduate due to his absenteeism and the sensible Takumi Mayama who acts as a proper senior to Takamoto often looking out for him. He just has a lot of bills in his back pocket and it looks like every time it's a bigger amount. Hey Takumi, what exactly do you think Shinobu does while he's away? No idea. He's a mysterious guy, isn't he? Takamoto had not given much thought to his future until one fine spring day when he meets the enduring Hagumi Aramoto and falls in love at first sight. Incredibly gifted in the arts, Hagumi enrolls in Takamoto's university and soon befriends the popular poetry students, Ahumi. Ahumi is already well acquainted with the three flatmates and secretly harbors deep feeling for one of them. Honey and Clover is a heartwarming tale of youth, love, soul searching and self-discovery through the complex relationship between five dear friends. Nodame Cantabile, the son of a famous pianist, music student Shinichi Chiaki dreams of studying abroad and becoming a conductor like his mentor. Unfortunately, his fear of flying grounds his lofty plans as he watches other classmates achieve what he has always wanted. Shinichi wonders if he should create music altogether. Study abroad. Oh, I forgot. You're petrified of flying. How pathetic. You've never been on a plane that crash landed, right? So, big deal. Take a boat. Then, one day he meets fellow student Megumi Nora, also known as Nodame. This old ball girl cannot cook, clean, or even read a music score. But she can play the piano in incomparable cantabilis tape. And she teaches Chiaki something that he has forgotten to enjoy his music no matter where he is. As if singing. Otakoi, love is sad for Otaku. 26 years old Momo Sanarumi is a die-hard Yaoi fan girl geek who recently switched jobs in hopes of being able to play off an image of a perfect 
beautiful young lady however her hopes are dashed when she reunites with her middle school classmate Mifuji Hirotaka and avid gamer nerd that knows her secret Mutto moto kare to ka so nan ja nai desu yo a narumi kondo no natsukomi wa sanka suru Love is hard for Otaku is a simple, funny and cute romance anime of some young adults. So be sure to check it out if you haven't yet. I'm sure you will love it. The Great Passage The publication of a new dictionary called The Great Passage is being constructed. Mitsuya Majima originally from publisher Gambu Publishing Sales Department has been recruited by the retiring editor of the dictionary department Kohei Araki to succeed him due to his love and dedication to reading. The dictionary department is known internally as the money-eating insect. But Mitsuya uses is perseverance and attachment to the words in order to become a great editor Natsuyuki Randezuwas Ryosuke Azuki is a young man whose heart has been stolen away stopping by the local flower shop Daily in order to catch a glimpse of the beautiful Rokashi Mao, the shop's owner. In hopes of getting close to her, he decided to get a part-time job at the shop. But before he is able to make his move, he runs into a major roadblock. In her apartment, dwells a ghost who claims to be Rokka's deceased husband. I'm going to die. What are you doing? When are you going to die? When are you going to die? Atsushi Shimao has quietly watched over his widowed wife ever since he passed three years ago. However, Masugi is the first person to ever notice him and the two quickly find themselves at odd. The jealous Shimao opposes the suitor's advance and possesses his body. While Asuki simply wants the ghost to pass on for good, allowing Rokka to move on from the past and him to be with the one he loves as both men refuses to let go of their desires an unusual relationship forms between a troubled woman a ghost and a stubborn man in love <laughs>